Yeah, I'm a little pissed off from StyleCon. You gotta be so good that they can't ignore you. Especially the ones that ain't done shit for you. Yeah, you know exactly what I mean. They stab you in the back and then they ask why you're bleeding. I don't trust words. I trust actions. I don't care what you heard. I'm not slacking. So what a long ass weekend. I got down to StyleCon Friday evening. Uh, spent Friday evening with all them. Saturday, uh, spent all day with everybody. And then I drove back last night. Uh into this morning basically uh, and then I took like a two hour nap I'm getting ready to go fucking kill it at the gym so because that's what grinders do uh, StyleCon as a whole you saw the video from the first day uh, that I released yesterday morning StyleCon's got me kinda pissed uh, just to be really really honest and first let me explain a few things everybody at StyleCon was super fucking nice they really really were one or two people I could tell were a little pissed off uh, that I had uh, spoken poorly about people that they care about, and I can't hold that against anybody because, you know, that's just human nature, and I can totally understand that because I was harsh with these guys, and I don't regret being harsh. That said, here's the reason why StyleCon's got me pissed. First, the fucking name. Uh, you know, I even talked to a few, of the, a few of the guys about that. It is in no way, I don't, I don't even understand how style is involved. Um, I had kind of the impression that there was going to be like almost a fashion show, you know, like uh, it was going to be you know, beard grooming and this suit looks great on you and here's how to wear a Henley. I, I thought it was going to be like a lot of the videos and you know that you see. It had absolutely nothing to do with that shit from what I saw. Um, it was about like building brands, brand marketing, uh, how to build your own business. It was like a business seminar. And I've been to plenty of business seminars, and that may shock a lot of you. Uh, but I've been to plenty of business seminars, and I know when my companies that I've worked for have paid for the business seminars, they're like $2,000, and the people don't even speak to you. They, they get up there, they do their speech, and then you mingle with other people. From what I understand, the price for this was extremely, extremely low uh, compared to that. Um, of course, there's you know travel costs, that sort of thing. And all these people who run very successful businesses were constantly, and I mean constantly, when they weren't on stage talking, interacting with the people that paid to see them. Uh, it, is in no way, it in no way involved style. It was literally how to build a brand, YouTube marketing, uh, social media marketing, um, sourcing of materials. I mean, it was, it was an all-encompassing, incredible business event that I, I think, I, I personally think, and I told them all this, that I think the name actually robs away from what it is. Because it is, has nothing to do with style. Now, granted, there was a lot of people very, very well dressed uh, there. Uh, with a lot, lots of hair and lots, lots and lots and lots and lots of hair product. Um, it's something I just isn't, I would obviously know nothing about. What I can say about that, though, is everybody was super, super, super nice. Uh, the other thing that's got me pissed off about StyleCon... I'm not actually pissed at StyleCon about it. I'm, I'm like kind of pissed at the rest of the world. And the fitness industry and the rest of the world. In that room, for two days, I spoke with people from at least a dozen different countries. Of all different nationalities, religions, races, ages, from 15 to, I believe, 80. Um, people that owned multi-multi-million dollar businesses to kids, people that were just starting out, and to some people that just wanted to meet their heroes. Uh, it was a truly, like, uplifting event for these people. Um, they, 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 were, they, they ran it to basically spread knowledge, motivation, and, sh and shit like that. That shit would never fucking happen in the fitness industry. That just fucking doesn't happen. The fitness industry does not do shit like that. Everybody's got too big of a fucking ego. And we're a place where you would think the egos would be fucking huge. They weren't. At all. Uh, you know, I'm... I'm when, I, when I first started making my videos about these guys, I had like fucking 1,000 subscribers. Like 2,000 subscribers. And it's grown quickly. But I'd still only like 5,000 subscribers. I think this morning, Alpha M had like 2.2. Antonio had like 1.1. And Teaching Men's Fashion, Jose... Uh, had like 550,000 and they're growing tremendously they're not fucking nobodies I'm a nobody and 
they were all very interested in what I had to say. Um, I had really good conversations with all of them. They all got a really good sense of humor, um, obviously, because they invited me. But they, 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 they didn't treat anybody as if they were better than anybody. And I've been around some fitness people who are not even as close to uh, as successful or as popular as these guys who act like uh, they literally invented fucking working out. So I, got, I really do got to say that StyleCon's got me a little fucking irked at the rest of the fucking world because we need more shit like that in our fucking society, not just in fitness or anything like that. And I'm not going to get all political, and I'm not going to, you know, get all mushy or anything like that. But we need more shit like what StyleCon was. They need to rebrand the fucking name, guys. Please, uh, please rebrand the name. But we need more shit like that. Hang on, son. But we need more shit like StyleCon. We just, we we absolutely do in our fucking society, in our world, where people get together. It's face to face interaction. You know, that's what I think uh, amazed me the most is. I have talked shit on a lot of people, and they either just ignore it, or they talk shit back, or and it's over, via the internet and everything like that. Well, I'm not like that, because I know I'm an asshole, and I say a lot of mean shit about people. There's always a point to it, where I'm, there's always a certain thing I'm trying to point out, except for one or two. Well, no, even with the L.A. Holst ones, I, I, I was trying to point it somehow. So there's always something I'm trying to point out every single fucking time. There's always somebody I'm trying to uplift. I fucking mean that. I, I can I can look at any just about any of my videos, and there's people I'm trying to either protect or educate or whatever, you know. And I'm trying to do it in a funny way while being a complete asshole. But we need more shit like this because these guys, the the fucking balls, the fucking stones, the courage, the fucking just total alpha ness of saying you're talking shit on us. Come down and see what we're about. You know, one of the videos I did about Alpha M was when he was talking about being Alpha, and I even said in the video, I believe, what does what the fuck does this dude know about being Alpha? A fucking shit ton. I'll admit when I'm fucking wrong, and that is fucking wrong, because all three of these dudes and all their fucking people around them know about being Alpha, and here's fucking why. Because Alpha is situational, okay? If it's in a gym, I'm still fucking Alpha compared to them. I don't think I, I don't I don't think that's ever going to fucking change. At least I hope not. Uh, but talk about a fucking alpha move. You know, you're talking mad shit on us. Come on down and see what we're about. That's some big ass balls, buddy. Um, and I fucking appreciate it. And th for anybody that thought I wasn't going to fucking go, you know, apparently you're you're misconstruing me with the rest of the fucking fitness industry and i don't mean the rest because there are some fucking really good dudes who have some fucking balls and who fucking stick by what they fucking say but i'm not like most of those motherfuckers where i'm just going to talk shit and then not fucking you know when when, when confronted i'm not going to fucking walk away like i know i didn't think there's gonna be a physical altercation and i hope there wouldn't be because you know we're grown fucking men we should be able to act like fucking grown men but at the same time you know, I, I truly fucking, I gained a ton of respect for these guys just from them offering me to fucking go, you know, uh, a lot more respect because not only did they, you know, do they, they didn't just fucking invite me. They wanted me to see what they were, what they were fucking about. That means that they have conviction in what they fucking do. Okay. Now there's the sales thing and everything like that. And I don't have a problem with people selling shit. I mean, I've said that multiple times, and I, it's not like I would never sell, like, every damn day t-shirts, or, you know, if I started something, it's not that I wouldn't, I would try to just make sure it was the best fucking product, it's not that I wouldn't sell somebody else's product, and I've said that multiple times, too, because I would want to make sure that it was a good product aimed towards somebody, I wouldn't just want to sell nothing, right? So, the sales thing, they wanted to show me their perspective they saw mine. They understand where I'm coming from. Where I, you know, a couple times where I was like, "You're talking about being muscular and just putting clothes on." What does that say to a person that's on a muscular journey? The, that they should just quit that journey and then buy clothes. Or what does it say to somebody like me who's worked thirty fucking years to be muscular? Uh, that I fucking took the wrong path, you know. But so I think they see my point of view, but I fucking definitely see theirs. You know, again, it's in the wording and how it's in the perception too. But here's what I can fucking say. A few things fucking happened that made me critically evaluate what they fucking do. A couple stories that were shared with me by people in the fucking audience, basically. 
everybody in a room just about had a story about how these guys have somehow positively helped them, including the business owners. Like they, they had said how somehow Alpha M or Antonio from Real Men Real Style had somehow positively helped them, right? But one story in particular sticks in my mind, and it has stuck in my mind so it was told to me. And the whole drive up, and even after I took my like two-hour nap, uh, I woke up thinking about it. I can't shake it out of my head because uh, it is something that you know I, these guys have not shared. I don't think with anybody, and I hope I'm not you know uh, doing anything wrong by sharing it. And if I am, I'm just an asshole anyway. But uh, you know, this kid lost his dad when he was 12 years old, at a time when he was really needing a father. I think. And learned how to shave, talk to girls, fill out a job application, fill out a college application, try to figure out what he wanted to do with his life, try to stay, you know, how to stay motivated to make something of himself. Uh, you know, is now going to the college of his choice, uh, and has a you know a girlfriend he loves, he plans on marrying. All from watching these guys' videos, especially Alpha M. That to me. It's fucking amazing. Um, you know, uh, sales happen. It, you know, it, it, I like I said, I don't have a problem with that shit, and I still don't have a problem with the videos I made because I saw an angle that I thought maybe was speaking out against a certain demographic that they were not aiming their video towards, and I of course took advantage of it and uh, did my fucking thing. But that story, along with everything else, I mean. You know, I, I, I will say this very, very much. I always say that real recognizes real. And I can admit when I'm wrong. And to the guys that I thought would be kind of the fakest people I've ever met are the most real motherfuckers I've met, I think, since I've entered doing this fucking YouTube thing. Maybe one other fucking person that's been there for me the entire fucking time who has helped me when there's been nothing to gain for him. But besides him... These are the realest motherfuckers I've met since I've started doing this. They help people when there's nothing to fucking gain for them. That's fucking real to me. The world needs more of that shit. So, am I friends with these guys? I don't know if we're ever going to be called friends. I've call, I, I literally have accused one of being a fucking serial killer, people. But, the real world, I definitely fucking respect them. Would I still fuck up uh, a couple of their videos if they come, don't come correct? They know I would, and I absolutely would look forward to doing it. So give me some material, guys. You're fucking starving me. But, again, real recognizes real, and these fucking dudes are legit. They're fucking real. I've, it was a pleasure fucking meeting them. I can't thank them enough for inviting me to StyleCon and uh, at least listening to what I had to say and treating me with fucking respect when they had no fucking reason to. Uh, that... Um, what I understand is what real gentlemen would be like, because I know I'm not one, but uh, I do got to say I had a great fucking time. Thank you all very much. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, and I'd probably fucking go back next year, because it was honestly a very fucking interesting event. Uh, that said, uh, I have a few other videos I'm going to post up today also, uh, just because I got a little behind for the travel and everything like that. I got fucking crazy last week. But my name is Alan Roberts, and this is Every Damn Day Fitness. Like and subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram at Every Damn Day Fitness. Hit me up on Twitter at Every Damn Day Fit. I'm also on Facebook at Every Damn Day Fitness. StyleCon in the books. God damn.